Okay, welcome to my video channel. Today, I'm Mary and Elena, and today we will do a variation of uh, Johnson and Jackson's Pythagorean theorem, proof that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So you have a right triangle, a, b, c. This is the short, the long, and the hypotenuse. And so we have alpha and beta and 90 degrees. And it turns out the Johnson and Jackson setup, basically what they've done was they've duplicated this original triangle and then they draw lines to where they intersect and they essentially make a staircase, a ladder of similar triangles. So these are all with the same angles, alpha, beta, and 90 degrees. And therefore, the sides are also, the ratio of these sides are also the same. And that's basically trig. And here's a list of all the various trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, cosecant, and uh, secant. And you should remember these. these. They're so common. So there's all six of them. And so we will be using this setup. Um, go to the uh, videos listed below. I'm not going to repeat how this was set up, but it's essentially done because we know this is 2A, and so we can figure out what this is and what this is, and we just work our way all the way down. Notice, <laughs> all the way down. Well, at some point we have to stop because there's an infinite number of infinitely small rectangles, not triangles. And uh, the interesting thing is that the distance u is finite. So this is basically an introduction to a limiting process. You have an infinite number of infinitely small distances that you add up. That's called a geometric series. And so what Johnson and Johnson Jackson has done in their setup, um, they're using trigonometry, uh, these ratios of A to B to C. Um, then they're also using the law of sine. So you see the sine of 2 alpha and all that jazz. And then they're also using this this infinite series, this geometric series. <clears throat> so that's the kind of a three road system. At least that's what I found from the videos that I watched below. Well, I haven't actually seen their work, but what other people have done, that's what I'm basing it on. My approach is slightly different. That's why I call it variation. Mine is more area based. So instead of this two alpha and law of signs business, I use a more area based uh, system. So a little less trigonometry and more area. And basically, A1, that's this big triangle, which notice this is 90 degrees. So B plus beta plus alpha adds up to 90 degrees. That's A1, this whole thing. And that equals A2 plus A3. So you have this setup right here. And so that's pretty much it. Um, one thing that we need to do is in order to do the area on A2, we need another length right here. And that length, well, how do you do that? You say h to 2a squared over b is the same as b to c, from which we get h equals 2a squared over c. So now we have the length 2a squared over 
C. All right, I love it. That's uh, that's how you get it. That's basically how you do it. That's the cosine of alpha. Here's beta, and so on. So okay, so now we have this two a squared over C, and uh, we have alpha here, and we have beta. And uh, so those are the angles. These are similar triangles. And so now our job is to find this u, this distance u, which is a, voila, it's an infinite geometric series. Guess what? We're going to factor out the 2ac over b out of all of them. So it looks like this, 2ac over b, and then we get 1 plus a squared over b squared plus a fourth over b fourth plus a six over b six. Notice, and it's then plus dot, dot, dot. This is an infinite process. This is a limit, a limiting process, right? Here's a limit. And that's a, that's a heavy, heavy mathematical philosophical object. Um, this limit, it turns out, um, it becomes 1 over 1 minus a squared plus b squared. And going from here to here, uh, that probably requires another video. I'm not going to do that. You just have to take it. That's what it is. And that's what I think the other videos also say. So here we have it. We clean this up a little bit. We get u equals 2abc over b squared minus a squared. So that is the distance from here all the way here using this limiting process. That's calculus. Okay, so we go on. Um, our approach is to use area. I said a1 is equal to a2 plus a3. And now we can do it because we have all the necessary you know, base and height that we need. So A1 is equal to one half, that's this big one, 2ABC over B squared minus A squared. That's, that's our U right here, you see it? Right there, times C, which is the height. So that's the uh, area of a triangle. And now we get A2, which is one half. Again, it's this factor U, which is right here, same as here, times 2A squared over C. That's our height. Okay, we got A2. Now let's go to A3. A3 is that's the easiest one. It's one half of 2A, that's this one, times B. Okay, that was pretty easy. So let's clean that up a little bit, right? Um, when you clean up um, the factors of 2AB, 2AB, 2 cancels out, and the AB, that all cancels out. We clean that up. This is all just algebra. You get C squared over B squared minus A squared is 2A squared. Uh, over b squared minus a squared plus this one and we now need to put everything under the same denominator so it's a fraction so it will add up nicely so we need our b squared minus a squared which we do <laughs> that cancels out giving us c squared equals a squared plus b squared that's my approach, my variation on the Johnson and Jackson Pythagorean theorem. This is a, a brilliant setup. This was done by two high school ladies. And that's, uh, hats off, you know, that, that's great. I, I like to see that. Um, there are things to be discovered. And so it's this setup that they came up with. That's, I think it's brilliant. So that's nice. Uh, my variation, of course, is to use uh, area, A1, A2, A3, instead of this law of signs and this sine 2A 
business, but uh, you know, my mine is less. Yeah, it's less intensive trigonometry wise, more area centric. So hope to hear from you. Uh, I hope to do more variations on this. There are many, and I've even seen many so far on the internet. There's going to be a lot of variations on this theme, believe me. So I'm Marion Elena. See ya. Okay.